Welcome to a day in the life as a Rottweiler breeder with Proctor House Rottweilers. Take a lift from the bottom. I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them. And they gon' love though they doubt it. Better have So we're gonna get our day started with a quick cleanup. It is currently 10 a.m. I usually wake up around 6, 6.30 at the latest. But the whole family was up late last night hanging out, playing with the dogs. So now I gotta suffer the consequences of waking up late. It's currently 10 a.m. 93 degrees with 45 percent humidity you guys know arizona is usually dry heat that's kind of what i'm used to so this humidity is beating the heck out of me already you guys can already hear the dogs panting as well just hurry up and get these kennels clean because we've got a busy day ahead of us get to it guys. I'm let our pretty girl vera out start picking up all this poop the floor of these kennels come on girl good girl this is our girl candy's kennel right here she had a major blowout but you yeah, know, let's go ahead and get this stuff cleaned up, guys. I'm already sweating like crazy. I ain't even have that much poop to pick up this morning, man. The joys of being a Rottweiler breed. Now that we got our first rinse out the way, we're gonna be using the Lasting Lavender Disinfectant. I use this right here because if you guys didn't know, flies hate the smell of lavender. It's to kind of help keep some of the flies away. Now I always get this question asked a lot, how do we keep our turf from smelling like poop and pee? Let me show you guys. This is a disinfectant I use for my turf. I like to use this right here because the smell is very, very strong. Kills the smell of poop and pee. Let's get to it. So while we're waiting for this cherry bomb to soak into our turf, I'm gonna go ahead and rake up all the rocks out of the turf. Now that we got our turf nice and soaked, let's go ahead and hit our kennels with our final wrench. One thing I wanted to mention, because I get a lot of people after they see this nice kennel, they're like, oh man, you're making a killing off these dogs. I did not spend a penny of dog money to build these kennels. I actually built these kennels before the dogs and puppies and stuff like that started to really come. I bought Simba when I was in a two bedroom condo. 
bought my house first thing i got done was my backyard and my kennel setup you guys can go fact check if you want go back to the very beginning when we first started off our youtube channel all you seen was our boy simba in a park that was a park right next door to our two bedroom condo so we started off here at proctor house rottweiler is completely different than most breeders most breeders get into the dog game they wait till their dogs make a lot of money and then they finally start to go and upgrade their kennels that's another thing i want to talk about too guys you know and upcoming breeders man when you start making money from the dogs, be sure to invest back into your dogs. I see a lot of breeders on YouTube. I've been to a lot of different breeders kennels that, you know, bigger names than me, bigger kennel than me, but they do not even have the type of setup that we have here at Proctor House Rottweilers. Small and simple, but you do not see our dogs living on dirt, mud, and filth. I think that's disgusting. You'll never see that stuff here at Proctor House Rottweilers. One of the biggest reasons why you do not want your dogs living on top of dirt especially rottweilers is because of parvo if you guys don't know rottweilers are prone to parvo it seems like man if they walk right past it they're gonna catch it infect the whole yard nine times out of ten is gonna kill all of your puppies if you have any litters there young pups young adults they're all gonna go mia um once they're infected with parvo so that's one thing i like my stuff sanitary and then on top of that man i do not like my dogs dirty i want my dogs clean obviously dogs are gonna be dogs dogs are gonna be dirty stuff like that but you don't want your dog living in mud, living in dirt, filth. You guys wouldn't want to live in it, so why put your dogs through that? So make sure you guys invest back into your dogs. Get a kennel set up, bare minimum, lay down some concrete. You don't got to get all fancy like I did with the turf and the pavers and all that kind of stuff. Automatic waters. Um, but make sure you guys invest back into your dogs. Because at the end of the day, the dogs should be what we're doing this for, man. It's all about the love of the dogs. Everything cleaned up. Now it's time to get everything with our bug spray. Eliminate any of our nasty critters here crickets, flies, all that kind of good stuff. Let's get to it. Sweet. Got everything sprayed up. Now we just gotta let this stuff dry before we can let the dogs out. Let's get inside so we can hurry up and get these puppies fed so we can head to the zoo. It's time to get some family time in too. Very important to make time to spend with your family. My son has been asking to go to the zoo for the past, but actually since we had these puppies, the past four weeks, the past month, he's been asking to go to the zoo. We used to hit the zoo probably once a week or once every other week before the pups came and he actually started school. My son is in preschool now. So I decided might as well hit the zoo today, have a little bit of fun since our pups are four weeks old and they're on mush. Mom still feeds them, but we're down to feeding one time a day with mom. So we got time to go have some fun. Let's go ahead and get some water in here, get this mush blended up, start breeding these babies. Got that mush nice and blended. You guys can hear the pups. They can smell this milk and they ready like, man, if you don't hurry up and pour that in that bowl and stop talking get this food session going they're gonna run through this mush like crazy i'm actually gonna mix another cup up of just straight milk now just straight milk got our milk cup blended up as well let's go ahead and feed these puppies what's going on guys what's up guys what's up puppies What's up, puppies? They're so used to me uh, bottom feeding them. This is actually day two of them actually eating mush. So they know when I come through, it's time to eat. But now they're going to have to learn that, hey, when I come through, that means the mush is here, guys. I'm not bottom feeding nobody. We're done with that stuff, huh? We've got purple, purple, light blue, gray, and our no collar female in there. Green boy just jumped in the mix. Let's go ahead and drop in our second bowl of mush. That way we don't have everybody fighting over one bowl like you're doing now. <laughs> Come on, guys. Get this right here. Come on, buddy. Get some pups out of here. And that bowl is honestly practically almost gone. Let's go ahead and throw in our milk that's exactly why i had already had this prepped because i knew they're going to run through this very very quickly 
when I add this milk in there, it'll slow down a little bit. Come on, guys. I'm slowing down now. Come on, orange boy. <laughs> Not playing. This bowl is basically gone as well. So it looks like I'll be making more. I thought I made enough, but I did not. So I'm going to be mixing up another batch. See, man, they didn't lick the bowl clean, man. <laughs> These puppies are not playing. Some of these pups full. No, I think no. Everybody's still trying to eat, man. I thought we were gonna be tapped out. Seems like everybody migrated over to our bottom bowl. We got a few of our pups tapping out now. Who is that? No collar female, purple girl, hanging out, light blue boy. Seems like everybody's coming back for seconds. Except that, what was that over there? What is that? Is that our <clears throat> gray boy? Yeah, that's our gray boy. But let's get ready to head out, guys. Ezekiel, you wanna go to the zoo today? Go to the zoo? All right, let's get it, let's go. Yeah, okay, let's get it, let's go. So the first stop we had to make was to get some breakfast. Yeah, breakfast. Yes, sir, now let's head to the zoo. Let's do it. The first thing you want to see, Papa. It's a cool pair, huh? It's a macaw. Uh, we can't touch it, Papa. Can't touch this one. What is it, Papa? A flamingo, you're right. Yeah, yep, there's small flamingos and there's big ones. I'm watching you guys will see, man. My boy knows his animals. I guess he had no choice. Look at his dad. Slow it down. Gotta put the sunscreen on, Papas. Let's go check it out. Woo! Hey, that thing is swinging, huh? <laughs> it's going fast, huh, Papa? You wanna go see the parrot? Okay. Let's go check out the parrot. You gotta wait for mama. Let mommy get your legs. <laughs> Ezekiel, slow down. A jaguar. Yep. You said, what is it? Dad, why didn't we? No, uh-uh. It says, please respect the barriers, okay? Yeah, you can't mess with him, Papa. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna. You say you really want to eat a big rhinoceros. Rhinoceros. Wow. Wow. The rhinos. It is a rhino. You're hot, huh? It's humid out here today. I'm inside at all times. We get really close to some of these gates, mm -hmm. and I don't want to pinch any fingers. Also, occasionally some of these animals may approach us, but if that happens, please remember they are wild animals. Don't try to reach out and touch or pet them if they're not used to that. They may not like it. To 116 degrees, and they do that intentionally because once they reach that high of an internal temp, they'll stop sweating. So they do that in an effort to save water. 
Now the second one over with his rump towards us, that is our male, Sneaky. Now those guys have been given the nickname the Undertaker Bird. Hi ma'am, excuse us. Um, <laughs> Oh, Look how close he is, Papa. Look at him. Oh, I know they are very scary big birds, but really these are... Do it. Some cool birds, huh? Hey, come on. You got your feather? They're eating an egg? Where is it at? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think he's eating egg though. Maybe, who knows? Those two, huh? So we got our feathers? Feathers. Starfish? Wow. There you go. Texas. Texas. Yeah. It's a huge chunk. Huh? Mm. Wow. I see you right. Look at these right here, Papas. Look at these eel. Eel. It's the eel. Yeah. The spotted garden eel. Some of those fish are bigger than you, Papa. See, it is the sea lions, Papa. The sea lions is them. My little sea lions. They're so cool, huh? Look at the fish toilet. Check it out. Uh oh. Eel right there, baby. Look at those two. It's a cool fish. Yeah. Wow. Look at that. Those are koi fish, Papa. Those are cool koi fish. Koi fish. What's a fish? Touch it. Try it. Well, I gotta do it first. You do it. We did it so many times already. Here, do mom. Have mommy do it. Let mom do it. You do it, Papas. Oh, yeah. This no. Hold on. Come on. <laughs> It does look like it. Come over here, Papa. Yeah, it is a stingrays. Look at the sharks, Papa. The sharks. Look at it. Up until it's time to get back to business. Let's see what we can find, Papa. Man, you ain't gonna hold the door for me, man. What are we looking for today? What are we looking for, Papa? I know my boy gonna find us, his dinosaurs. Oh, you got a dinosaur pack? Dinosaur pack. Dinosaur pack. Yeah, we'll see. Let's put that back. What you looking for? Oh yeah, remember you wanted one of those. What is that? Oh yeah, me too. Yeah. <laughs> I definitely uh, dates you. <laughs> Paris! And a Paris! Yep, a macaw. What else did you get? Oh yeah, that's exactly 
Yeah, there it is. It's just like that. And then you got a rhinoceros? Woo! All right, let's go. Time to get back to work. Something to drink. That's about it. Snapple, sponsor us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I wish. You have fun at the zoo? What you looking at, Papas? You look at the parrots and the birds. All right, let's head home so we can go check on the dogs. So we just made it back to the house. I had to run inside really quick, change my clothes, grab my boy Simba because we're kind of cutting it close. Cutoff time here for uh, FedEx is 5 p.m. And it's already 325. I got to drive about 45 minutes away. So we're making it, we're cutting it really, really close. But run over here to my repo spot so we can do a collection on Simba so we can get the semen shipped out. Hey, man. He's still all up and ready to go. Got my guy Junior over here. You're ready to add this extender. Wrap it up so you can drop this off the FedEx. Got everything packed, prepped for shipment. Big shout out to my guy Junior with Go to Line. Yeah. Helping me out today, getting my boy Simba right because he would not let me collect normal the way we usually get down. So he had to let me use one of his uh, females that were in heat. Help me hurry up and get out of here. Like I said, guys, we running late. So let's go. I want to give a huge shout out to my client for trusting us here at Proctor House Rottweilers and choosing our big boy Simba. The semen is going all the way out to Texas. So I made it on time. I was cutting it super, super close because cutoff is five. It was actually 457 by the time I got everything done and shipped. Super happy I was able to make it on time. But now it's time for me to fight in this traffic. I got like an hour and 45 minute drive to get back to the house. So we just got home roughly an hour and a half ago. And as you guys can see, it is raining. Arizona weather is super bipolar. It's crazy, but I'm not gonna complain because the dogs love this cooler weather and so do I. I decided to go ahead and knock out our second time of the day cleaning up our kennels. I clean our kennels here twice a day, the same exact way as you guys watched me clean it this morning. Just to keep our yard clean and sanitized, smelling good, and making sure that our dogs are happy and healthy at all times, at least as much as possible. I love to hear the raindrops slapping on top of our kennels. Got our beautiful Arizona monsoon skies. It's actually a time of the year where I don't mind living in Arizona. Definitely don't mind it. Love the clouds. See the sun over there. It's getting ready to go down. And one thing, hopefully I can catch it on the video, but one thing I got to say about Arizona is that there is not another state topping the Arizona sunsets. I can put my money on it. If I don't catch it in this video, I'll catch it in another one for sure. Best believe Arizona is the top for the sunsets. But, man, love the rain. And this is how bipolar the Arizona weather is. You guys just seen it was just raining. Big old boy Ferrari. It was just raining. Decided to go grab the dogs, let them out, complain the rain. Boom. It stopped raining. <laughs> man, yeah, this is how we get done in AZ every time. She ain't gonna let him take it neither. I, I bet you she don't let him take it. What? <laughs> Yo, her tail, like, come on, girl, please. Here, watch. And what's funny is that he's not really even going after the ball. He more so want to play with her, because this is all they do. Rough play all day. Oh, Roy. What's up, buddy? What's up, bud? Here you go. What's up? What's up, Roy? This is what he does all the time. Let's go. Look at there. See the gatekeeper. She's going to try to hold it. She ain't going to let that ball go, huh, mama? She going to let it go? No, I ain't letting it go. Look, they just won't let her. I got you, Bear. Ah, Ferrari, get up off me, man. You playing rough. Brought them over here to the kennel side so I can let my girl Willow out. Go grab my son. He usually plays my girl Vera boy ferrari back on the kennel side got them over here so i can go grab my girl willow and my son zeke like i told you guys in our previous walking video my boy zeke loves to play with my girl willow i've been having willow since she was what about nine no about 12 either 12 or 14 weeks old i can't even remember right now at this point but um we've been having her for a very very long time and uh my son and willow they play all day every day so let me go ahead and grab her out that way we can start getting our kibble out so we can start feeding our dogs as well. You got it? You got it. Good job. Whoa. Good doggy. Yep. One, two, three. Woo. Good job, Willow. Go get it. Get the ball. 
Hey, you know. Can so give me it. What? <laughs> I'll just show you how gentle our dogs are here. And, and Zeke will play with all of our dogs the same exact way. Him and the Willow just got a special bond. Hey, stop kicking up the rocks, Papas. Get the ball. Get the ball. Get the ball. So give me the ball, Willow. Get the ball. Grab it. Good girl, Willow. Good girl, Willow. <laughs> Throw it, Papas. Woo! Hey, look, and you guys seen when we, when we took Willow on the walk. I'm gonna keep mentioning that Willow walk because that's the most updated video you guys have of Willow outside of today. Put that rock down, please, son. Rock down. No rocks. Come over here. Come over here, Papas. Hey, look, boys will be boys. But it's probably the most you guys are gonna see Willow run. She always she'll run for me and she'll run for my son. That's about it. Anything else, man? She ain't she ain't in no rush about running for nothing. Oh, minus food. She will go after some food. That's her thing. <laughs> huh? Ezekiel, no rocks, please. We can't play with the rocks with the dogs. Put the rocks for back. listening, Papas. You got the ball. Look at Willow. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for Daddy. Hold on. Look at that structure on Willow. Say, look at Willow. Okay, throw it. Go ahead. All right, big mamas. Good girl, Willow. Good girl, Willow. Good girl, Willow. Good girl. The Mack truck, huh? Good girl, Willow. Good girl, Willow. Ezekiel, where you at, Papas? Love our girl, Willow's dome piece. What's up, mama? All right, go get it. Go get the ball. Ezekiel, come here. Good, do you want to see the ball? Yeah, take it. Get the ball. Get the ball, Daddy. Get it. <laughs> good throw, Papa. Good throw, good throw. It's a good throw. All right, let's go start feeding these dogs. So my son is over playing with Willow, and I know some of you guys were wondering, like, dang, does he ever feed his dogs? What time he's gonna feed his dogs? Don't worry, our dogs eat a lot. They wouldn't be as big and beautiful as they are if they didn't. But, as you guys seen earlier today, it was extremely hot, so during the summer months, I only feed my dogs at night. And I started doing that because I noticed that my dogs just honestly wouldn't eat during the day um, when it was super hot outside. So I just said, you know what, let me just cut it all out in general. We feed at night and they eat everything up at one sitting. They're not playing around with the food. But let me go ahead and fill these bowls up so we can get these dogs fed. Now I'm not sure if you guys can see, probably not, but back there, right over here, there we go. We got our, our girl Vera and our big boy Ferrari hanging out over there. Like, like I told you guys, all they do is play fight all day. If they're together, that's what they're going to be doing. Fill these balls up. DK, where you at, Papa? What's up with Willow, huh? What's going on with Willow? You got the ball? Got the ball. <laughs> All right, go ahead and throw it. You good. Yeah. Throw it. Woo! All right, go keep playing with your rocks. You see, times like this, you cannot beat a well-bred, well-mannered, well-tempered dog. You guys can see our dogs are great with kids. We got three more kennels left. What's up, Papa? You bringing me rocks, man? Here you go, Dad. Thank you for the cool rocks. Cool rocks? Thank you, Papa. Wow, some cool rocks. Yeah, it is some cool rocks. Hold on, Papa. Let me finish with your dogs.
got one more. Our girl Tyra. And I know I've seen some people in the comments asking, hey, where is this dog? Where is that dog? Do not worry, guys. I do keep some of my dogs at my dad's house. He actually has two of our females over there now. As well as our Frenchies. As well as our Frenchies. Frenchies at my dad's house too. Got our beautiful girl, Kybera. Four weeks after dropping nine beautiful monster pups. If you guys had, had, haven't had a chance to check out those puppies, be sure to go check out our four week update. As you guys can see, man, she looks great. We're coming to the end of her uh, nursing days. So it's time to start snapping back. Watch out, mama. So see, man, she got the ball drive as well. So give me the ball. Stop playing around. Give me the ball. I can't wait to watch this girl snap back. As you guys can see, she's a tank. She a beast, huh? Say, I'm a beast. Say, I'm a dog, huh? What's up, girl? All right, go get the ball. Girl. But I want to thank you guys for tuning in and coming along with us today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button. When you guys do subscribe, be sure to hit that bell to turn on all post notifications to get notified when we do drop our videos. Also, please give us a follow on Instagram and TikTok, as well as a like on Facebook. All at Proctor House Rock Wallace, and we are out. Take a lift from the bottom. I know it's hard to believe you can achieve it without them. And they gon' love though they doubt it. Better have stamina, cause success is a mountain.